Samsung Galaxy E7 Review Hemmed up touch whiz on top of KitKat 4.44 The Samsung Galaxy E7 runs on Android 4.44 KitKat enhanced with the touch whiz UI. It offers graphical themes, a feature introduced with the A-series. However, this version of the software doesn't stray too far from the TouchWiz Y looks that have defined Samsung software throughout the years. You can catch a quick glimpse of the interface in the video below. Themes have made their way to TouchWiz but currently only four are available aside from the standard one. They change the wallpaper and icon pack, along with the animated transitions, but leave even Samsung apps unchanged. The lock screen shows the time and date and offers a camera shortcut. You can also enable weather information and a second clock. A feature borrowed from Lollipop is that the more important notifications, like missed calls, now show up on the lock screen. You can tap them then swipe at the bottom to unlock the phone and go to the relevant app. There's a private mode, and you can protect it with a pattern, pin or a password. Private mode creates a secure section in the phone's storage, which can be used to store photos and other files. They are not accessible to users or apps unless private mode is unlocked so you don't have to worry about somebody snooping on your files. The home screen is typical touch whiz, with a four icon dock on the bottom. You can have up to seven home screens, panes can be reordered and one is set as default, and can be cycled unless you have briefing enabled. Briefing is the leftmost home screen aggregating your social news. You pick topics of interest and use read later services, ISTA paper, pocket or readability, to pick articles on a computer and later read them on the phone when you have the time. The notification area is the familiar affair with a wide assortment of quick toggles. You can rearrange and hide them as desired but the brightness slider, with outdoors toggle, and no auto mode as there's no ambient light sensor, is always visible. There are no S finder and quick connect buttons to add extra clutter. If you have both SIM slots occupied, the SIM selector is always visible too. The settings menu has a selection of most used options that you can customize and search. That's invaluable since Touch Whiz packs many features and digging around can be time-consuming, while search allows you to jump straight to the relevant settings. Up to 9 big icon shortcuts on top can be user-selected, or you can remove them altogether. Themes have made their way to Touch Whiz but currently only 4 are available aside from the standard one. They change the wallpaper and icon pack along with the animated transitions, but leave even Samsung apps unchanged.